You might think these dogs are going for a midnight walk, but they're on a mission. Riders Alley Trencher Fed Society, rats for short, is a group of owners that let their pets take on Manhattan's vermin issue. Rats in New York City have always been a problem, but they're especially a nuisance during the coronavirus. Because restaurants aren't leaving food on the street regularly, reports are saying that rats are getting pretty aggressive due to the lack of sustenance. Richard Reynolds has been a member of Rats for more than 30 years. No, Bill should be with you. Tonight, he's brought Zoe and Ramel, two Jag Terriers with a thirst for rat blood. And a boy. How do you know if your dog is a born hunter? You don't. <laughs> uh, you get a breed and you take your chances. And with some breeds, the chances are much more favorable than with others. Hunting rats is not illegal in New York City, but getting unlimited access to these pests requires a lot of permissions. So the group operates in not so secret secrecy. You're not old enough to remember Mission Impossible. But the guy would go into a phone booth and the phone would ring and it says this tape will self-destruct in five minutes and we don't even know you. That's kind of the way we work with the city. I spoke to half a dozen residents. They all welcomed the tiny predators. A few said the rat colonies have increased considerably recently. All the dogs can individually kill rats, but they do work together in a pack sometimes. The idea is one of the dogs, usually one of the smaller ones, will flush out the rats from a dumpster or a bag of trash, and the other dogs will surround the area and get the rats as they scatter. Some say the practice is inhumane, but Reynolds points out the method kills the rodents faster than poison or glue traps. We're offering a very quick, uh, not painless to be sure, but at least quick and merciful death. Not all dogs are hunters from day one. Laddie, a Norwich Terrier, caught a bagel, not a rat, on his first time out. Others, like nine-year-old Mighty, were born to do this, according to owner James Hoffman. Do you think that New York City has a big rat problem? Huge rat problem. It'll never stop. You know, it enables us to do what we do, and we help out the community secondary to it. First, it's for the dog. Second, we help out people. Tonight's haul was a light one, only 14 confirmed kills. But the rats in the city are constantly populating, and the dogs are in the shadows, waiting to take them out. Michelle Castillo, Cheddar.